Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to be learning how to change hair color in Photoshop CS6 or CC and this method will work on older versions of Photoshop as well. So here are a few examples of what uh, we'll be doing today. So this is just one example. As you can see, I'm just showing you the different change and here is another example just like that. So we'll be working on this document here. So just to start off, what we're going to do is we want to grab our quick selection tool which is W on the keyboard and you can change the size of your um, tool and you can basically go ahead and select the hair so after you've selected it um, if you've selected too much like as you've seen here the middle and her, of her face got selected as well you just want to press alt and then go ahead and click over that part and then it'll deselect those that portion all right that's looking pretty good so once you've done that what you want to do is go ahead and right click on the selection and go to refine edge and here I've set it to an overlay view but um, you can decide which one you'd like so then what you want to do is go ahead and select smart radius and just increase this until it's starting to look a little bit better. Then, um, basically this is just to make sure that the edges are um, done nicely and that nothing's getting cut off. So that looks good. And you just wanna play around with these settings until you get um, the best possible hair selection. Uh, the feather will just make it a bit smoother. So that's too much as you can see. You just wanna keep it uh, about there, that's good. Contrast will basically create that like sharper line in between the selection edge and the rest of it and shift edge will make it larger or the smaller for the selection. And after you've done that, you just want to hit OK. So now you have the selection. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead to layer up here and then go to new fill layer and hit solid color. Then these options will pop up and what you want to do here is under mode you want to select soft light so what this will do is it'll allow you to basically it's sort of like an overlay of this so then you just want to hit OK and then this menu will pop up over here and you can basically decide which color you'd like so as you can see it's very simple and through here you can just go ahead and <clears throat> go through the colors so let's just pick like a for example, we could like go over here, take like a dark brown, just like that. And once you've selected it, if you'd like to change it on this layer on top of your um, image layer, you can just go ahead and double click the color here and that'll open up the color options where you can, the color picker, sorry, where you can decide which color you would like to um, use. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very straightforward and simple. Um, at times, as you can see over here, there will be edges of the hair which is very hard to select and sometimes you just have to leave that, Other, unless you want to do it very precisely, you can actually draw in um, each hair individually but that would take a very long time. But if you're looking from a distance, it's very hard to notice and um, it gets the job done very easily. Yeah, so that's a very simple method and something that's very useful. And um, basically, it wasn't too many steps, it was pretty straightforward. And I hope I helped and you learned something today. Thanks for watching. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe for new content every Friday. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, don't forget to leave a like below. That's all for today and I'll see you guys next Friday.